Hello everyone, my name is Dave. Welcome to our shop here at NTD Racing. Behind me is Honcho, our 1978 Jeep J10 Desert Race Truck. I'll start off by apologizing for my voice. I had my COVID booster about a little over a week ago now and I am still feeling the effects and I lost my voice for a little while, but anyway. All right, I wanted to say 2021 was a great year for the NTD race team. We had some really good times and some really good success racing Honcho and taking it to the Baja 1000, taking it to Vegas Torino. And as we wrap up the end of the year, got some Christmas parties coming up and Ryan is throwing a party. And he said one of the things he was doing was gonna have a ornament competition. So we are entering in that competition. So today I will be using Fusion 360, the Langmuir Systems Crossfire XR, and then some other little tricks I learned using vinyl cutters and that kind of thing to make an ornament. And I'll show you how that works. I will ask as you watch this thing, if you're like, man, that's pretty cool, then maybe please consider hitting like and subscribe, ringing the bell for notification of future episodes. It definitely helps us out. Any of the stuff you see me using while I'm making this video, if you're like, that's pretty cool, and you like maybe a, a plasma table or something like that, and you can search the link in the description below, which will get you a discount on the Crossfire Pro, and in the future, probably a discount on the Crossfire XR as well. Uh, or you can go to our webpage at ntdracing.com, and all the information there is on our page where you can learn about NTD Racing or all the tools that we use on our videos. Let's go ahead and get to the build. All right, Merry Christmas, everyone. We're um, going to a party. I'm supposed to bring some kind of a ornament, so I'm gonna make one. On my Lamier Systems Crossfire XR. Let's go ahead and make a snowflake. I'm always cutting, remember, on the Y and the X axis on the uh, on the plasma tables. It doesn't matter if you have the XR or the uh, the Pro. And I'm going to just basically start, I'm going to kind of grab this line right here, and I'm going to start making what I think would kind of look like the different sides of a snowflake. Here we go. And then what I'm going to do is use a couple different techniques to um, basically make a circular pattern. And that might help you out. You know, if you're making something else, I don't know. If you're making a, uh, a spacer for your wheels or something like that. Well, this would be a handy tool to do that. So anyway, so first thing I want to do is I want to mirror this thing. So if, anytime you mirror, you got to give yourself something to mirror. I turn construction lines on. And this is why I kind of like grabbing this axis here because then it, it makes it easy to uh, just have a, a point to, to, to snap to with your line. And then I'm going to say mirror. I'm going to mirror all these points right here. And then I'm going to mirror it on that right there. And there's the one leg of my six-legged snowflake. All right. So now I want to make it a six-legged or have the snowflake have six little points on it, I guess. And I'm going to go and make a circular pattern. Again, I'm going to grab all of the points on the snowflake, and then I'm going to grab this origin right here. Let's make it a six-sided. There's six, and say OK. Cool. There we go. There's our six-sided snowflake. I'm going to put the center in now, and that's where I'm going to put my, my Bob Marley sticker on there for the Bob Marley snowflake. So uh, one love, brothers. All right, here we go. Um, let's, I don't know that. I figure it can go out to, that looks kind of good. Let's see how that looks. I, now I need to go in there and just kind of cut some of the parts out that I don't want these lines to be cut later on. So it's a little tedious here, but I just got to cut these, these things out. Oh, I'm going to cut those out too. It's taking longer than I thought. I appreciate you sticking around through this whole process. All right. If my voice sounds a little horse or horse right now it's because i just had my flu, my booster shot and man that that wrecked me i don't know if you guys have got it but um, that was that is not fun it was a rough night of sleep last night but there you go got my booster shot all right here we go almost done I think I got them all. All right, now we need to extrude it. You don't have to extrude it. It just makes it easier, I think, to cut it if it's an extruded part. Now, I'm cutting it out of uh, 90 thousandths aluminum I have downstairs. And so there is my, 
my ninja star or my snowflake. Man, I hope the kids don't get it and like throw it at each other because this would be dangerous. But anyway, so there you go. Um, let's go ahead and now cut this thing. I'm going to go and gonna manufacture. We'll set it up. I always pick the top left for my box point. That's just the way I work through my material. I'm going to call this a snowflake or flake. There we go. Uh, then for cutting, I use the Razor Weld 45. It's been working awesome for me. I just bought the one that they had. It's plug and play. And oh, is that the, yeah, there we go. Razor Weld 45. Now I'm going to try cutting, I'm going to dial the amps down a little bit on my Razor Weld. And I'm going to try cutting at 200 inches per minute. I think that'll work pretty good for this thing. I'm going to cut that body. And all that stuff looks pretty darn good pretty darn close and good enough it's only going to really pierce one time and I, i'll just tell it to pierce how about right there it doesn't really matter there we go and now it's generating the tool path um hopefully we should have a tool path here shortly oh there we go <laughs> it took a long time to do that all right and then uh, i'm just going to go ahead and publish the g code and let me see what folder is it going into all right post save all right let's go down to the crossfire xr and cut this thing out Okay, so topping off this Bob Marley snowflake, um, one of the things we've been using a lot with our truck is having to cut all the logos. So we've been doing a lot of work with vinyl, and as it turns out, it's really super cool and, and really easy to use also. So what I'm making today is I found a silhouette of Bob Marley, and I'm gonna go ahead and make some, uh, some Bob Marley stickers. These things need about, that circle's about four and a half by, uh, inches around so I'll probably make this thing about four and a half inches and then they do some really cool things there's so many features of this and I haven't used all of them but it's really easy to um, to trace something you just kind of select a trace area and you say trace and then now I just move my Bob Marley picture out of the way and there that thing is ready to uh, pretty much to cut out already select it copy it and paste it because I want to cut two Bob Marley's one for each side of this amazing snowflake there we go. And now I just go over to send. I'm gonna make this thing cut three times. And I'll show you how that does. I'll, I'll take a video of this thing cutting. You can kind of see how it sets the depth at the beginning of the cut. And it's pretty much ready to go. Let's go ahead and watch it cut. You know, for this whole next part, it turns out that my skills as a race car builder also kind of lend itself well to being a, as a scrapbooker too or something like that because I end up cutting a lot, doing a lot of artwork and that kind of stuff and cutting a lot of vinyl and uh, making t-shirts and those kinds of things. It's a lot of fun. Um, anyway, my little boy taught me into buying this cutter. I'll put this on our Amazon page if you want to check that out. I think it's super cool. We use that to cut all of the th parts um, all of our templates for making our tubes on Dentech, uh, and we use it a whole bunch uh, just you know for making t-shirts and all those kinds of things. That being said, you know a couple of things that you see here in the tools that I'm using in my shop, if you are looking at getting something like that, let's just say you talk to your accountant and they're like, hey, we got a lot of end of year money this year we need to get through. Well, whether you're buying a plasma table or one of these uh, vinyl cutters or something like that, maybe take advantage of the Section 179 accelerated depreciation such that you can offset maybe some of your profits, hopefully, from uh, 2021.
Uh, so what I'm doing here is uh, just taking some of the stuff called transfer paper that's stickier than the other paper this thing is on. And when I pull it up, Bob Marley becomes a sticker. And then now we can apply it to our snowflake. And lo and behold, I give you the Bob Marley snowflake. Well, I kind of think it's a little bit of a crime. We didn't win the competition. I will let you guess which ornament won the competition. I think it's appropriate. Anyway, I will tell you though that Ryan did throw a great party and I actually had my voice until I went to the party. And then I was like speaking at about 150 decibels of people outside in the cold air. And that's when I actually lost the, the voice officially. Anyway, it's coming back and I think it'll be pretty good. Like I said, if you like the stuff that we were using in the video and you're like, man, I would like to make ornaments too, then check out our description below and you'll find links for the Crossfire Pro or the XR if you want one of those. Again, you'll get a discount on the Crossfire Pro and especially for those small business owners out there, if you've got an LLC or something like that, then now is the time to make a purchase and take advantage of the end of year deductions that you can make and depreciation for many of the assets that you make for your company. Likewise, check us out at ntdracing.com and you'll find out all the information about our amazing team and a lot of our sponsors. With that, I can't wait to see you on the next video. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on my 3D printer. I think you're gonna like it. It's actually pretty cool. For those of you who build stuff, I do a lot of work with my 3D printer also. So I'm gonna do a Fusion 360 video about me making uh, mounts for our tap shift on the 3D printer. So I hope you'll check that out and I'll see you in a couple days. Take care of yourself.